Alright guys, a couple things I learned from Ed. He has a, a safe jump that works anywhere on the screen and the MIDI setup. First off, we'll do his uh, safe jump setup, so you have to end it with the target combo. Just jump forward, you can do jumping jab or jumping heavy punch. Also, make note that it has to be this target combo. If you just end it with the Kurosu go back heavy, you just jump. Uh, reset that. It's not a safe jump. See, so make sure you end it with the target combo. Uh, so yeah, this is the back uh, Kurosu go back heavy. I don't know the name for it, but all right, here we go. This is a MIDI I just learned earlier today. So pretty much same ender. No, 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 this is, uh, we're going for MIDI, so make sure to turn this off. So you're gonna, you're gonna whiff a light kick to kill some frames, or frame kill. What the heck? Okay, hold up. To get a plus, it should be plus two if you do it correctly. Oh, it's plus four. Oh shit, never mind. Even better. So, this MIDI obviously should work on hit as well. You get a free combo in. Bam, plus ten. I think it might be more than that on hit. You can end it with the. It's supposed to be end with heavy. Let me see. Yeah, see, got a. It, it landed. Timing's kind of strict, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, I missed that one. I mean, if it's 10 frames, then there's other buttons you can cancel it out with, just in case you feel like you're gonna mess up the timing. Like me. Try one more time. See? But yeah, those are the two things I learned from Ed. Pretty damn useful, pretty cheap as well. I'm sure there's probably more out there since it's only day one. But please let me know in the comments below if you found anything else that I should add. But anyways, I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.